I'm going to show you how to set up a student assignment in Moodle and how to play back your feedback files to each individual student in a very efficient way. Let's have a look at the Moodle course itself. Uh, I'm logged in as instructor, have a course, and I will add an activity, in this case, the assignment. We just go briefly through the options. Um, give it a proper name. Um, make sure submission type is set to file submissions. Since we want to provide a video feedback, we need to check feedback files. And since we do not create anything here, we set grading to none. So that's basically it. and the assignment is ready. Now we switch to the student account, same course, logged in as a student, reload the course, and here we go, there is the assignment. So let's play that through. Albert Alman is submitting a file. Right, perfect. Uh, let's see how that looks on the instructor side. And you can see one file is submitted perfectly. View all submissions. And let's assume it's not only Albert who submitted a file, but maybe 40 students. Then we get the list and we see all the students and who submitted something. First of all, we download all the submissions. Um, so grading action means download all submissions. That will generate a zip file. And this zip file uh, we need to extract in our file system. And extracting that zip file means that we get folders for each student with their submissions inside the folder. I already prepared a feedback file, this one. Um, I copy that into uh, the corresponding folder. And now I go the same way back. So I just delete the zip file to not confuse you. Um, I zip all the folders of the students again. And I upload this file to Moodle again. So going back, and let's assume it's 40 students, so have, you have done that in one step. Upload multiple feedback files in a zip. Choose the file. Drop it here. That may take a while because when you upload video files, um, it's certain file size, depending on your internet speed, may take a few minutes. We import those files, confirm and continue. And now um, the file is with each student saved. Uh, let's go back to Albert Alman. Down, um, not download, um, reload that page. We still have the submission here, but if you scroll down, uh, you can see the feedback file from Albert Alman. And the good thing about all of that is that the feedback file is just visible uh, for Albert Alman. So um, you have all the data protection issues covered. Um, each student gets its individual feedback file, and that's perfect. 